Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so in our previous part, we have learned how to install eMQX, that is MQTT broker, on our Ubuntu server and learned how to get connected to it by making use of a tool that is MQTT Spy. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, so this is my server instance. So I'll just copy my IP address. Okay, so new connection. Okay, so here server address. I will just paste my IP address over here. Okay, so let's get connected. Okay, so now you can see without any authentication, we are connected to our MQTT broker, and anyone with your IP address can get logged in or get connected to MQTT broker and check out whatever the data or message is been arriving in your MQTT broker. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to enable user authentication where a user has to enter a username and password uh, to get connected to our MQTT broker. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's open our PuTTY terminal and log in into our server. So I'm going to use PuTTY. Okay, so here I need to type my IP address of my server. Okay, and connection strings. Okay, so username is Ubuntu and my uh, PPK file I need to browse over here. Okay, so these are the files that are been used to connect to our server. Okay, so now you can see my PuTTY is been connected to my server instance. Okay, so to change the configuration and implement authentication, you need to configure EMQX uh, configuration file. So our EMQX has been installed in etc folder. So just navigate to etc folder over here. Okay. Okay. So now you can just press ls and check out if EMQTT is existing over here or no. Okay. So you can see I have a EMQTT been installed. So just go to that folder. Okay. So ls. So let's check the files that are been in my folder that is emqx so first of all we need to change our emqx.config file and then later we are going to install a plugin okay so let me show you the fold the thing that we need to change in the plugin folder okay so cd plugin ls okay so over in this plugin folder there is a configuration file by name emqx auth amnesia okay dot config so here we need to change the user name and password okay and in our config file we need to enable or disable uh, anonymous sign in okay so first of all let's go to emqx configuration okay so i will just take back okay so i will just open my emqx by making use of vm editor emqx okay so open this file and these are the list you can just configure as per your needs okay so for now i just need to disable uh, allow anonymous sign in okay so just search for it Okay, so here as you can see allow underscore anonymous and it has been true by default. Okay, so you just need to turn it to false. Okay, so just go to insertion mode by pressing I button. Okay, so you can see. Okay, and just make it false. Okay, now press escape key and colon QW to save it and exit. Okay, so now if I go, if I restart my uh, EMQX, so let me do it. Okay, so now after I configure the EMQX folder uh, file and enabled, disabled the anonymous sign in and I have just restarted my MQTT okay so now let me try to get connected to this without any security okay so I'm just providing IP address over here 
you know let me get connected okay so you can see it has been showing in red so anyone cannot access your uh, MQTT broker without user authentication okay so now we need to uh, enable this amnesia okay so just go to plugin folder and open this file by using vm tool okay so plugin sudo vm editor emqx underscore auth underscore amnesia okay so here you can see there is user authentication so over here you just need to remove this comment okay so just go to insertion mode again okay so here you can just edit the username and password as per your need so i will just keep it username as admin and password as public okay and make sure there is no space here so there should not be any space something like this okay so just change this and save it by pressing colon wq okay so we have just uh, edited our amnesia uh, configuration so now i need to activate it so by default all these plugins are disabled so as per your needs you can just enable it by one command okay so now let me enable this amnesia con uh, plugin okay so to enable it just press uh, emqx underscore ctl plugin load emqx underscore auth dot m men me SIA. okay so here we are going to enable this plugin okay so let's do it okay so you can see a message the plugin amnesia was successfully loaded okay so now again i need to restart my emqx okay so sudo emqx restart okay so our broker got successfully restarted so let me try to connect now edit security okay so enable user authentication so tick this and here press the username and password so our in our case my username is admin and my password is public okay so let me connect now Okay, so now you can see I have secured my MQTT, bro uh, MQTT broker. Okay, so this is how you can just secure your MQTT broker. Uh, so that's all for this video tutorial. Hope you got the concept of how to secure MQTT broker. So thanks for watching. Please do subscribe protocol point. Thank you.